hi everyone in this video we will see how to scale the downloaded ground motions using uh, seismo match according to the target design spectrum proposed in uh, the various codes uh, for instance uh, indian code um, so when you open seismo match software uh, it will look like this so for uh, open the ground motions uh, we can open the files single files or uh, the multiple files file files uh, at a time uh, can also be opened but here let me open only one file and i'll show you how to the scale according to the uh, the indian code uh, the, the design spectrum so open single here the, these uh, ground motions are the default available in uh, the size match excel program excel so in the previous uh, the lecture previous video uh, the procedure to download uh, the ground motions from uh, the peer is already shown uh, those ground motions are uh, of in zip file so those ground motions are uh, unzipped and uh, around 900 files are available okay, because uh, in, in that video it is explained that each ground motion will provide nine uh, nine data files okay, so that means three accelerator acceleration time history three velocity time history and three ground motion time history functions so like that uh, uh, the hundred and hundred time history the files are uh, functions uh, 100 earthquake data are downloaded and each has nine time history functions now let me choose the first one and uh, uh, let me open acceleration time history so it is of 82 file and another one 82 file and of course the third one is also 82 file but here in this three acceleration time history two time history functions are corresponding to horizontal uh, uh, acceleration and oneness of the, the vertical acceleration that is why it is mentioned up and so let me open one horizontal acceleration it is of the the dominant one the dominant one and here uh, automatically it will identify from which point onwards the first line will start so here uh, uh, peer nga format so from where only we have downloaded the the promotions peer nga if we choose this one and uh, automatically the files will be uh, the values will be defined so the first line is the fifth line you see the first second third and fourth and of course the fifth line onwards only the uh, acceleration values are started and the total line this is the first line which has the five values and the last line will be of uh, 1604 the line okay and the time step uh, it is 0 0.005 second the unit is in g now click ok we can see the acceleration time history function here okay. so the maximum acceleration value of this earthquake is only 0.06 g around 0.06 g only now we have to match this drone motion with the design spectrum which is uh, given in uh, is uh, 1893 part 1 2016 so we open define spectrum and these are all the uh, Euro code specified spectrum and uh, so let me open load spectrum file from file yes of course it is corresponding to 5 percentage the damping value and open I have already uh, created one spectrum function and get the text file is yes. Indian standard response spectrum and the first line is the first line only okay and the period column yes of course the first column is the the time period one and the second column is of the, the acceleration column okay this is the the target spectrum design spectrum given in is 1893 now click ok the, the target spectrum is also defined now uh, what are the factors required to match this uh, 
find uh, acceleration time history with the, the design spectrum. Now, the minimum period range, okay, so this is, this means that uh, the time period of the structure to which the acceleration is, go this time history is function is going to be used for the analysis, okay, if that time period is within this range, then we can use this one, okay, suppose my uh, time period, natural time period of the structure is 1.2 second and it will lie within this range of the, the time period or my time period of the structure I am going to uh, use this uh, time history function, the scaled time history function for uh, the tall building or uh, high rise building which has time period 3 second, 3.5 second, something like that, then we will have to use uh, the period range accordingly. Okay. So here uh, let me use the, the default one and the scale factor is also already p1 so later uh, this can be changed uh, based on the the requirement now the tolerance the, this uh, it defines the the error in the matching this spectrum matching the the ground motion spectrum with the the target spectrum okay so this 0.3 will represent 30 percentage of the error okay so let me change it to 0.2 that means 20 percentage error and we do do matching So here we see the maximum end shift uh, it is 36.6 percentage which is greater than point 0.2 that means point, uh, 20 percentage that is why it is given non-converged and if you want to see the response vector of this matched spectrum this is the original accelerogram you can see a original accelerogram this response vector is corresponding to unmatched and scaled uh, the ground motion this is the uh, target spectrum and uh, the matched spectrum if you see Yes, of course, after uh, doing the matching is also somewhat these two ground motions, uh, these two spectrum are matched. It is in the range of 0 0.05 to 2, we can see up to 2, it is uh, somehow it is matched. But after that, uh, it is not matched. The, the spectrum is not matched with the, the design spectrum. Okay, So, uh, at least up to this range, the spectrum has to be matched with the, the design spectrum. So, but uh, however, uh, the value mentioned is not converged with the uh, the analysis. Let me increase the scale factor to 1.5, and let me give the two matching again. It was 38.9 percentage. It is increasing. So let me reduce the value by 0 0.8, 1.2, 1 1.2 also it is 39.1 percentage. Yes, after uh, so much of trial and, er uh, trial and er uh, error, uh, the final value of the scale factor is found as 3. If you use 3, the maximum M shift comes around 19.4 percentage and uh, the matching is also shown converged. Now let us see the response vector of this function. This is for the original accelerogram and this is for the, the matched one and some more it is matched. Now this ground motion can be uh, downloaded, copy and pasted in excel sheet or in a separate uh, text file. This this time series corresponding to original accelerogram and this time history corresponding to the matched accelerogram. So this we have to select place it in a separate place. And this one we can use for the, the analysis. 